so I heard back from our uh, county land use folks this morning because I put the application in the other day, uh, yesterday. I called and left a voicemail too before I got online and worked my way through things. And of course, I'm kind of thinking that's what I was expecting. She gave me three names to contact for help with this process and said I'd probably have to get lines and grades done for the building. That's cost. That means I got to get a survey in here to get the lines and grades done, because they got to be certified, sealed, and all that crap. So, just you know, whatever. It's this county that I'm in, and the state that I'm in. I don't know. My daughter's in school here. She was in school in Texas, which was good, fine with me, because I wouldn't have moved to Texas. But we sold this other parcel down here. I don't know. I just would like to get out of here. I'm kind of locked in here at the moment because I'm not prepared to move. It'd take me a year to get prepared to move. Got to get this building done, get stuff situated. Then I can start moving equipment and stuff around, figuring out what I got to sell. Because I can't. I, and I, I need to downsize so bad. You know, I don't need two tractors. I don't need all these Modex. I don't need 10 vehicles. I don't need five mowers. I don't need scissor lifts, and, you know, if I move away from here, and just get me a, a nice boat, a nice rod or two, cars, not fishing rods, and, uh, you know, enjoy it, maybe I'll live on a boat, <laughs> that would be awesome too, but anyway, I got to get some mowing done this morning. And uh, I've been letting it go in some weed whacking, tidy up some of the stuff here, and get back at the at this activities, at these activities. So that's what's left. This almost looks, it almost looks like an African type of tree, or a Delaware palm tree. I think that's a Delaware palm tree right there. Uh, hopefully I can get it down today. I'll use my Bronco. I got a 12,000 pound Warren winch on it, and uh, get some pressure on that thing and get it cut and mushed. I could probably cut it and uh, just use the bobcat to push it the way I want it to go. That would work as well. Uh, but either way, what I gotta do is I gotta get some, clear some stuff and, and uh, then get at it. Uh, but I gotta get some mowing done. Get this stuff tidied up to make a mess again. And uh, Oh, I'm just looking. So I've got solar panels all over this house on the back side here. Freaking te Tesla owns the company now. They keep saying, well, you got to go look at this to give us a trouble code because there's something wrong with the inverters. We've done this before and they had to come out and fix the crap. But I'm tired of going out there, flipping switches, turning this on, turning that off, unplugging this, plugging that in to figure it out for a technician to have to come out and fix the damn thing. I said, just send the technician out. They said, well, we need the trouble code to know what the technician needs to look for. Well, that's the job of the technician. Come out and see what you need to look for. I mean, it's, it's, good Lord, man. Things are so upside down. People think you work for them. No, I'm paying you for a service. You come out and do it. So I haven't touched it. They want to make money off of me on it, then they need to come out and fix it. Other than that, I ain't touching it. Um, sooner or later, they'll they'll come out and fix it, which is fine, you know. But they're a pain in the ass. It's twice this has gone this way. I'll do I'll I'll do something in more detail on that. I would not recommend. I would not recommend. Uh, uh, if you're if you're going to do solar panels, just make sure you're you're you are the owner and and. You're, you know, it's on you. Just buy the stuff and, and be done with it rather than putting up with these stupid-ass service providers. This one's already changed hands once or twice. Tesla owns it now. And, uh, but it's the same process. It's a process sucked before and it sucks now. Um, get service. So anyway, surprise, right? Get quality service. You know, this country used to pride itself on that stuff. We're getting back there to it, but I think we lost our way here for quite some time on what made this country 
awesome. Let me get back to that. Well, I can't use my hustler because that cable's busted, and I just got another. I got some more pulleys from. Uh, what was that? I got some more pulleys from from uh, Granger. I got the other pulley and the little bushings, the reducers. So this is the other bushing I got, which is very similar to this one. Slightly different. A um, little bit bigger diameter. It's a little, let's see. That other one was a little bit smaller. So that's almost the perfect diameter. The diameter of what rides, where the cable rides in is larger, similar to that one. But I got these bushings. So these bushings, I got different styles. These bushings go from a half inch, which is what that is, and which, which one that is, down to three eighths, which is what that is, uh, which is what that is. <laughs> I keep talking to this camera like, let's see what I'm talking about. So I got different bushings, like this one. These are short enough that you can put a bushing in on either put a bushing in on each side. So that worked for there. This is just a straight push-in bushing. This is a flanged bushing. You can only get one in, so it'd have a flange on one side. I think I'd probably use two of these bushings on uh, one on each side uh, to step that down. But I'll deal with that. And the cable, I was going to make a cable, but I just ordered one. I should have just made made one and be, I'd be done with it by now. Uh, all right, so mower. i got to go get the mower. And uh, these are some leftover stuff from painting on the wall. I just need to get that crap out of here. I did get my, uh, I got my parts blaster yesterday. So uh, actually I can take, uh, I could take this now down to the, the shop. That's the media blasting for it. I'm going to get the trencher Thursday. It's a big track, 36 inch deep trencher. Um, I got to go deep because of the water lines. I got to bury these water lines at least like 30, 36 inches, somewhere in there. And that's what this trencher is 36 inch tracked. Things a hoss. All right, well, let me get rolling here. Get him over. So yesterday was a just kind of a it was a busy day, but you know nothing I really kept track of. So I uh, did a bunch of mowing in the back. Now it's all cold and misty rain today. So I did a bunch of mowing in the back. Got my ladder and some saws out. And did some more trimming on this red maple right here. Got it back under control. Did some trimming on those bushes right there. Did the drive again. It was getting out of control with all the stuff that had fallen, so I had to edge it. That's always a fun exercise. Did the expansion gaps. And, uh, so that took believe it or not, a good chunk out of my day. Uh, I guess I didn't get this part down here. How do weeds go? This stuff is just so prolific in these uh, cracks. That's dead stuff. Uh, it's, since it's misting and raining, I'm not really wanting to do much with the trees as far as cutting goes, but I'm going to clean. I guess I'll come out here and start cleaning this mess up here. And uh, maybe take a look at my parts blaster. I finally got that. And I got my all the various parts for my to try different options for the pulley on this thing and uh, see how that goes I'm not sure if I can show you which pulley is it's had a failure I'm not sure if you can see them here or not uh, no nah, you really can't see it in there 
there's a pulley on the wing and it's the same thing as this right here and uh, that's what failed I'm gonna see if these things are if there's a yeah, it's, yeah, I can hear that alarm going off in there. That stupid ass thing, ADT needs to come fix that. Alright, well, cable hasn't shown up from Hustler, so I need to go find out what's up with that. Trusty scissor lift, can't do much with it raining right now on that. Went back and forth with the county about this building, the permit for this building. So I think they're sending me in a direction that's less complicated. I think. They're saying it's for an egg building since it's a farm, uh, which makes it easier to get a certificate of occupancy, which you know, I'm not using it for occupancy, but uh, I just, but I gotta get drawings for the building. I, uh, I don't have drawings. So I'd have to do the drawings. And if I do the drawings, just if I do them you know I'm sure they're gonna want some type of professional type drawing and not what I would come up with I would think but uh, I will see because if I got to get professional drawings I'll have to I asked the builder the guy that's gonna help me build it I asked if uh, he has anything hopefully he does if not I've got a nephew that's an architect that uh, I'll see if I can't pass a few bucks his way and see if he can help me with a drawing and uh, go from there well so these are the various parts I got ordered some pins for marking purposes I never seem to have anything around so these are the various bushings uh, show you what uh, what I'm talking about here show you what I'm talking about The hubs out there are those pulley shivs out there are three eighths of an inch diameter. That one's three eighths of an inch. These other pulleys or shivs that I got from uh, the various sources out there. Where's my Granger one? Where's my other one? That's one of them. Uh, what did I do? Hmm. Here it is, right there in front of my face. Okay. So these two are pretty much the same thing, except you can see this, the one on the left, that is for a 1 8 inch cable, and this is for 1 8 inch cable, but you can see that it's a much bigger uh, galley valley in here as compared to that one that one's more like that one there these two in that aspect but be that as it may you can see the hub centers of these pulleys are much larger than 3 8 they're half inch so I bought these bushings and what the bushings do is shim it from a half inch down to 3 8 so let's look at one of these real quick. So in this case, I could get one bushing in here. Wow. No, I can't. That's too tight of a fit. It does go in that one though. So that would go in there as such. I don't want to get it in there too far in case that's not what I want to do. But that would get one bushing. I gotta figure out why. It didn't fit in that one. In case I want to use that pulley. I may exclude that one. Uh, so that's those that's those bushings there. These bushings and these other ones are very similar to that. Uh, be one bushing to go all the way through. This has no flange on it, it's just a straight bushing. This has no flange on it, it's just a straight bushing. That's a flanged bushing, redu reducing bushing. That one I just had in is a flange 
reduction bush. So, as I see, had a camera on this. Now this is the same thing. It's a flanged reduction bushing to go from a half inch to three eighths. But they're shorties. Make sure the bolt goes through there. Yep, perfect. But they're shorties. Let's use this one since it seemed to. I get that hole almost looks visibly bigger. Yeah. So I could put one on each side as such. And that would make it flanged, if you will, on both sides. And of course, then the bolt goes through there. That's for these guys here. I'm trying to get that. That's why I didn't want to get these in there too far. Come on, baby. Come on, man. Oh, man. Come on, man. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I don't want to mar this thing up too much. Easy peasy. All right. And of course, this one doesn't require a flange or a, a bushing in it at all because it's what it is. But that's a $40 pulley shift. This one and that's a very tight half inch. These are very generous half inches because nothing is fitting in that. Where's the straights? And this this is this the other style I got is just a straight shove. Or a straight <coughs> bushing. That's a reduction bushing, three eighths, half inch to three eighths, and of course it's not even fitting in that one. So that might already be excluded, but it will fit in that. So that's the two options I have. And I believe this one was that one, and this one came, where is that little bag? Where's that little bag? Shivy, shivy, shivy bag. Oh, this one right here. Yeah, bronze bushed. It's supposed to be half inch size. See, it says for eighth inch rope. But wire rope. I don't think that one's going to work. So, it's going to be this guy, or it's going to be this guy. And this guy I need to brush down. I think I might have to take a pulley, one of the other pulleys off. Everything that rocks. So 
from the Xfinity Studios on WMMR and WMMR HD1 Philadelphia. Well, it is a bearing pulley. And that's the side that faces down onto the machine. So that means for this, I need to put, I got to have something that's pretty thick. I think this is a 3 8 I don't know, maybe not. No. It's not going to fit over the neck. It must be a metric. Yeah, it's not fitting over the neck. That's poop. My stainless washers uh, just aren't thick enough to provide spacing that I'm looking to get. That's, this washer is a bit thicker. That would work. I think that's what I'm going to have to go with. $40 frickin' gizmo. That kind of bites. I have some stainless walk, walk washers. Probably put a stainless bolt in there too. Could do that. It's not stainless, nor is it long enough. That's what happens. That's why I don't like putting the non stainless stuff with this. That one's not quite long enough. Oh. Huh. This one, this is it right there. There she blows. Put a whole stainless setup in there. There's my uh, blaster, parts blaster. I think I'm going to set it up back there, but I got to move my box of tarps or paint box. Something's got to move. But I'm sure, you know what, Hustler would probably charge me 40 bucks for this damn thing if it was even available. These valves, you know, they're obviously valves for the hydraulics on the wings. Keeps them locked in. I forget to flip them sometimes and it's a pain in the ass to do it from up here all right hopefully this bugger will she'll kick with a little oh, I gotta hit my glow plugs While I do this, I'm thinking this is going to work, people, but we will see. They'd get, get their act together, hustler, and send me this freaking cable. I was going to make one, but then I, I saw what kind of connections they used, and uh, I don't have those connections, so, ah, you... So, 
I was thinking, well, hell, I, those connections aren't going to be all that cheap. Man, I ripped my fucking shirt, cut my elbow, dropped shit. There are pieces of me. Now this chain, I've got to replace all this chain. But I got to tack weld, cut it off and tack weld it on here. This stuff, you can see that one's breaking. Good lord. That's what happens when you buy older stuff. But in the big scheme of things, that's pretty minor. In my humble opinion. There we go. I gotta go south paw on this thing. Alright, I'm sure you're getting as sick of cutting up trees as I am. Talking to myself here. So just grabbed a couple of tools, grabbed a pooling to fire it back up. I'm just gonna get this thing cut up and then uh, I'm not gonna clean it up today. I'm gonna go clean up that other stuff. But while I got a break, it's not raining or anything, I'll figure I'll just start cutting, hacking, hacky sacking this thing on up here. So that's my next move. Cut up tree. Alright, so comes the mist and rain again. I had to, uh, I'm not sure which battery was not doing what. I suppose I could have put the uh, charger on, or the digital voltmeter but uh, I'm thinking that's that's the older battery and it's less got less juice than the other battery so I'll see what it uh, have them test it and see what they say about it and if so I'll get the better the bigger battery the seven uh, I think it's a seven series this is a six five six five and the other one's a Seven five six five. All right, did some uh, tree cutting up, some limb picking up. Pulled the battery out of the F three, one of the batteries out of the F three fifty. And uh, this is this is the I think the motor part of uh, my new pump for the well. It's a two horse single phase continuous duty submersible pump Goulds so that's the moat for a submersible pump so that's the motor I dig that all happy about that the pump is in this other box I'm having a problem though because I got to put the uh, I got to put the uh, the uh, pitless adapter in, and the guy doing the well noted on the uh, noted in the uh, quotation. He's just digging the well. He, that's all he's doing, digging the well and you know dropping the case. But he said it's a four-inch four-inch well. Well, um, I can't uh, I can't find a pitless adapter for a four inch casing on the well, so I'm not sure what the deal is there. All right, let's see what Thirty five gallon per minute, four inch well pump. So that's pump and motor. Motor's a heavy son of a gun. Nozzles for the blaster. And this is all the pulley stuff. But we did wind up using that stainless steel bearing pulley from McMaster Car. I think it's McMaster car. 
$40. Uh, but I'm sure that, uh, like these things are a couple of bucks or whatever. Uh, I'm sure that uh, Hustler would have charged me 40 bucks if that thing still would have been in production. And I think that's going to work. I can use this stuff for emergency spares. I'll have to find a home. This is what happens. I wind up get collecting stuff like this. And then uh, I wind up not having homes for it or I forget where I put it. And Man, I tell you what, that's what happens when you get too much crap and then you, if you don't use it all that often. Especially like when I'm traveling and I'm, uh, you know, I'm not home a lot. So when I am home, it's hard to get stuff done because you're just so beat. Traveling life is not glamorous, I'll tell you. People think it is, but, you know, if you don't have a farm and a house and stuff to keep up with and blah 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 it probably is not so bad it's not so bad when you're young it was kind of enjoyable but as you get older you know it's kind of crap you don't want to have to be dealing with so that's all right well i already installed the new battery in the f-350 it's in here's the old battery which still good and the thing didn't like just crack right over and crack so i don't know if the other battery's bad or what the deal is that's he said that was good it was just low voltage uh which it came out of there it shouldn't have been low voltage but i put a the larger frame or not the larger frame but the better bigger cranking it's, that's 850 cold cranking amps and i think this one is uh i think this one's 11 11 50 think let's take a look here I think it's 1150 if I'm not mistaken no that's 850 oh yeah this 7565 1040 cranking apps, 850 cold cranking, and I think that one's 850, 650, and this is the same battery. I might have to change that one out if this thing doesn't crank any better. It's either that or I've got a parasitic loss in it somewhere, but uh, who knows. Just right now, that's like mission completed for the moment. All right. I uh, got to pick up my stuff I set out over there. Went to Home Depot yesterday. Very disappointing trip. Because I don't like getting out now, obviously. So when I do, I like to make it worthwhile. We didn't take the, uh, the F-350 because I was getting a battery from Napa. So I had a battery out of it. And I opted just to keep the old battery. Given with my discount, I think I paid like nine extra dollars to keep my old battery and buy this new one. With the discount and core offsetting the core charge basically and uh anyway i've been getting some uh, estimates for shipping so i found a 12 inch chipper shredder and of course as my luck goes if you will it's in california but it's an awesome price for a nice machine uh, for a good machine good price for a good machine but unfortunately, the cost of shipping, I think, is going to take it out of my budget. The uh, shipping is basically about a buck a mile, and that's um, it's about three grand. I've got one guy that's willing to work with me on it, but I don't think he's going to go as, as low as I need him to to make this thing feasible. So Saturday, I go up to Wilkes Bar. Uh, Pennsylvania to look at one I don't know I'll check it out it's a good price now I'm like is it a good deal or is I'm getting scammed that's how I look at stuff and uh, I, uh, I'll check it out the guy hasn't told me I've asked him three times can I tow it back because it's you know towable unit or do I have to put it on a trailer and he hasn't responded load it up and then I think I'm gonna start on that other tree see how much progress I make on trees today here we are again, 
I'm up on the lift, not too high up here. Um, gonna trim some of these guys out of the way here and then move over here and get a couple of these guys. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Let's fire up this morning here, baby. This thing's usually pretty reliable. small enough I didn't care all right I'm up here pretty good this time a little uneven too because I'm up against this tree but so hopefully I don't uh, tump over here or anything man wish me well that big but I'm hoping it goes to that side of this other branch here. Let me see if I can get through there on it. That thing's gonna fall precariously. Come on baby. I back up I can get this one here let me back up here okay let's go up and see what this does there I'm off of that now all right let's get this guy I knew that. That's what I was saying. That one was wrapped around that. And, uh,. I was hoping it was going to fall off to the other side of this guy, but he decided to fall on it. Just so 
like that. Fire back up. Go down. Um, um, this one, this one here is too precarious. I got to reposition for it. All right, cut this stuff up now. And reassess where I'm at on this tree. All right, I'm going in for a risky job here. We'll see how this turns out. Suc succeed with victory or fail in defeat? We will see. I'm going after a big branch on the first tree. So I can get it prepped to bring it down. I want to get this side of it. I wanted. Right on. Damn. Could that be like any more of a pain in the ass? I knew it was coming back that or going that way. I just didn't think it would I thought it would have more weight and momentum, not get hung up in those. That was a bit of a hack job, but it's done. So now the question is. So I got sawdust all in my eyes. So what happens with this guy? Just need to get a rope up high on it, bring it down to a snatch block, and use the Bronco's winch back that way, and pull that thing that way. While I cut this side of it somewhere up higher there to get that top to go over that way. All right. So now go in. This means go in. Alright. Yes. Okay. This means go in. Alright.
Right on. this winch pulled back in. Oh man, been a day. Come on, Peppy. Come on, Peppy. Uh, well, uh, this key, this ignition and key is just a pain in the ass. You know what? I didn't do it.
Pepe. Good job today there, Pepe, my little mule. Pepe saved the day. Well, he helped save the day. That would have been a pain in the ass having that limb come some other direction. There we go. There. Tree down. Tree is down. Tree down. That's the next one right there. So that's a wrap for the day, folks.